lost. You saw it maybe played in Domination, Team Deathmatch, whatever it may have been over the course of the beta, but you have not seen S&D. Maybe you saw some of the tweets from some of the pro players. They were getting really hyped. They oh, yeah. have love search so far in this game. Jack, you've rejoined me, but we're getting ready to bring the search. Yeah, you're, you're a famous this search is, player. Oh, I played a lot of search this year. Yeah. <laughs> These guys, I mean, right, the, the pro players, I've been trying to teach them some things. In the last yes, 24 it, hours, what you? I mean by that is I've basically been learning everything I could ever want to know about this game mode in Infinite Warfare. For the first time, it's Search and Destroy. This one on Frost, and the first competitive kill goes to Clayster. Congratulations, okay. my friend. Clay getting it done. You saw his health bar above, a little bit tagged up. It's going to be Nagafin now working the plant. They're in a 4v2 now. It's just going to be Aqua and Attach. Boom, there's that major alert, the by the way. Bomb planted at A by Nagafin, and now it's up to Aqua to go for the one versus four. He's got the K-bar. Time is ticking down, 35 seconds remaining, Ooh. loses the one-on-one -on -one gunfight, four up, four dead, as the Wraith squad takes round number one on offense. The K-Bar being one of the favorites, I was just about to say, I wonder what he got gunned by, it's a K-Bar for Clayster as well. Shots absolutely on point, is that's what, four up, four down there yep. for the first round for Clayster and the boys. Things to point out in Search and Destroy, when we go ahead, take a look at this beautiful Codcaster, again, on the left side of your screen, you've got the amount alive as well as the top bar, so kind of... Re, re gives you that idea of how many oh no clayster i swear clayster i swear that was way too close for comfort i was not ready for it to happen that early players already beginning to challenge again towards this a scott side this time though it's attaching crew striking first well they're going back and forth kills being traded it's going to be a 2v1 nagafin the lone man here going to have to try and clutch up and he's sniping of course he is of course he is now his move may never have to worry about him quite the Traveler, as he's now wrapping down below, trying to come up behind, not it's finding off. anything home, but he does get spotted, and I believe that was a snipe coming in. Uh, no, I don't, I don't know. I thought, it I thought it was. I thought I heard a snipe go off. Uh, I could have been making that up. Yeah, no. 100% yeah, not a snipe. That's an assault rifle. Yeah, you definitely your head, probably get your ears checked out. As yeah, Aqua that's, a, that's age. That that's age. Yeah, that, that most certainly is. Aqua with the stack K-bar there, now one-to-one. -one. As we continue right on through with round three starting on up, we'll continue to follow the offensive team. John rocking that overdrive about a quarter of the way there. We'll play right towards middle map control yet again. All right, so we got to watch a good bit of S&D, right? Yesterday, the guys were playing. Has there been anything that stood out for you? Maybe is a, a big difference between this and past titles or just something new that you'd like? Clayster's fell off the map. Well, it actually happened. I really, I really didn't want it to happen because I wanted the meme to die with, 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 with the with the changing of titles. Uh, but no, it's easy. He, Clayster is officially the first person to fall off the map in Call of Duty <laughs> Infinite Warfare. Shocker! That's uh, I, 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 what more can we ask for, right? Yeah, he needs to use that rewind ability, man. It's it's going to be so useful. Cannot wait to bring that out. Aqua challenging right away with that K bar yet again. Gets four quick shots down, as that'll put his squad up by one round. As Let's keep kind of breaking down the map, right? And break, sure. breaking down the game mode here in Infinite Warfare. The A-bomb site located outside. Players loving to attack that so far. We're seeing a good mix of, of tacticals as well as lethals in these games. There's your mini-map. Players splitting across the three lanes, showing that structure to the map that was just spoken about uh, with, with, with Ashton and Joe. First blood this time over to Nagfeb. And you can see how aggressive the defense is being. How much closer those bomb sites are to the defensive side, allowing them to get a little up close and personal. That's Nagafin opening things up, finding two. Going for the ace. Aqua in a tough position here. Oh, he found the first three. Yeah. Two to two. Game staying tied up. And that's the second one before we've seen Aqua have to try and make. And, and what was funny in the beginning of that round is you saw how these guys, since they've been playing as a team over the last 24 hours, they already have structured plays right there on defense. They sent one through middle lane to just play passively, one near that A site to play passively. And then they sent two through that indoor area by B. They flooded one running low as bait and someone hitting the higher wall run. Beautiful play. Nagafen read the play like a book from the offensive side. He'll get three that round. Aqua with the first payload available. Hasn't used it as of yet. Fellow will have to back on down. Still rocking that bolt. He gets tagged up looking for kills. But John going to be getting the first blood here. This year's Cod. XP Victor, it's going to be 3v2 now for Saber. They've got the advantage. Nagathan, though, does have the bomb in hand. He's trying to wrap around the back. He can't find the kill to tie things up. It's not going to be John in a 1v3. <laughs> there, there you go, John. There you go, buddy. You got it, my friend. All odds against him. Oh, oh, oh he actually gets two. Aqua body section. Yeah. The third. John with the 1v3 clutch will put the Wraith squad 
back up in I, this game. They just fed him that well, one. He didn't even know he shot the second guy. I don't think he <laughs> realized that he was even there. He gets the collateral, finds both. The third runs at him. You see now why Envious and John were the champs this year. That was sick. J Cap taught him well. J Cap taught him well uh, with that. Uh, no, he did not. No, I think he did. John teaches J Cap everything. <laughs> Overdrive now available. He's got the scarab too. As out. We'll continue right on through into round six. The 1v3 clutch from John. The guy's triple positive in the first session to search and destroy map. He's played in a competitive setting in Infinite Warfare. Still the map being spread, but much more of a heavy focus from place for room towards this A-bomb site. And I think it's going to work out for him here as the Saber squad were not ready for all four players from the red team being there. Uh, John continuing to straight gun people, doing a great job, especially in the first blood department through this one. But now it's going to be on Attach and Looney. Yep. What can they do to try and tie this one up? Attach, known for his s and gameplay, starting out one and five. I know this is the first should live here, search here. gameplay. It shouldn't come up behind one. Second in front shot, shaky, Ooh. but does find it. Attach gets two. What it's John doing? John, put it on John. He's going to clutch again, baby. Let's see it. He has overdrive to work with. He has the scarab. Just under 40 seconds on the clock. A lot of distance between them, but he's going to hit the wall run. They're not he ready for sees this. one from behind. Oh, no! no. <laughs> So John goes from a 1v3 to falling off the map. And I love how it just paused on his body, just soaring down the wonderful mountains as a... Uh, oh, God. <laughs> See, that basically sums up how I kind of play. Yeah. Right? Is Cl either clutch or kick. Or just fall off the map. Oh, it's God. It's got me this far in life. That was brilliant. That was absolutely brilliant. But now it's going to be great. It's on attack yet again. John, see if you can rebound from that. He is able to find one kill, 2v2 early on. You're going to have Felony and John going to get up against Attach in Pacento. We'll see if Felony has it in the clutch. Or, sorry, John has it in the clutch again, not able to do so. Nice That's, job. He's getting put in a lot of clutch scenarios, though. Yeah, I mean, he's doing a great job baiting his teammates in some of these rounds. Yeah. <laughs> As uh, Attach, we'll see from his perspective. The NV4, once again, that all-around assault rifle. Chunks them right down. Three perks as well being used. Pretty well-rounded class for Attach, which is what I love to see. These guys, they've had all sorts of stuff on their weapons, on their perk systems. Look in the top right, though. Multiple play payloads available for either team. Attach, the only one that doesn't have it for this blue squad. So they've already got a round lead. Now they've got the payload lead as well. Looney and crew hitting the A-bomb site yet again. They're getting forward. Flirt with disaster. Oh. Looney right in front, able to find and stay on the map. Six stuff there. From Looney, that's going to open things up for him to get in behind the action. Looks like he does want to take the wall, ran, uh, wall run all the way around the back. And he's got a little bit coming behind him. One and one, they're trying to win it against John. Shot shaky, but is able to find it. The melee going to miss there for John. And you'll see Bomb planted at A by attach. Four versus two. Now uh, three versus two as Felony tries to even these numbers back out. To his left. Beautiful job watching over his teammate. Great job reading the map as well. Five to three. Now the round count as Sabre team are one round away from taking the circuit. John can't do it all. He can't. He needs a little bit of help. He does. If they're going to come back and push this to a round 11, who are your eyes on to be Captain Clutch here with John? Oh, gosh. I mean, yes, you have John, but uh, I'll go out and say it. Clay, you're two and six. You need more from him in this game. Triple negative. Does have his payload, though, as a... Uh, he will play on this offensive side. Let's take a look at his loadout, see what he's rocking. Does John realize he's had overdrive for about 12 rounds? I don't think so. I, I don't think so at all. Clayster does have rewind, so that, that ability will let him kind of go go back and rewind, just as it says. Game back that help, game back some of that ammo. Clayster evens the numbers back out in two versus two. Scarab was also used by his teammate to try to clear out that A site. And uh, Clayster shut down the payload there as well. They have an advantage here. John a bit tagged up. You saw his health bar very, very low, but now it's going to be on Pacento to try. Ooh. Oh, I, I hope Clay uses sure. rewind in this. I hope he uses rewind. Come on, Clay. We yeah. can do it. We believe in you in this one versus one. 45 seconds on oh, the clock. Facendo's turning to the corner. He doesn't see him. Facendo's right behind him. Facendo's watching the right doorway. You see on your minimap, he'll go ahead, give that one up. Clayster just trying to watch the cross in middle. Players dancing around each other. 35 seconds left. Clayster is on offense, though, so it's up to him to plant this objective. Yeah, they kind of just ran right by each other, right? Yeah. In the different lanes. He's going to wrap all the way back. Little does he know, he's basically opposite position of Pacento on the map right now, and he's going to work the plan. So Pacento just checked B. Is he going to transfer quickly to check A? He's not going to have an angle to get there in time to try and find the kill. But now it's all about how Clay plays this. He's going around the wall run. <laughs> this is scary. He's going right at him. He might actually be able to get right in behind him, depending on the timing of this thing on the map. I think he's, he's still good. He's getting chased by Pacento. 
He's behind him. He does have rewind. Facendo had to have seen him. Facendo, as soon as he gets a shot in, can he get the rewind in? The shot should be coming in, not able to get the rewind, and that will be oh, it. Oh, shoot bodies! Facendo <laughs> sending a message as Saber Team will go ahead and take that map too.